Episode 5, here we go. Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you get a reason with a wildling? No, I'm uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. I'll... I'll do my best. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You killed our brother. I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Oh. Walk with me. Nah, I don't want to walk with you. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. What? I'll leave the sword. Very well. That was easy. There. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Hmm. Okay. What's up, Trauma? How are you doing? How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> hey. Polite of you to ask. Hey. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. <sighs> Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff was injured. The Mason is looking after him. I'm aware of Griff's injuries, and that you inflicted them. Oh, I really hope things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. 
The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Ah! 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 Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop. Please, do something. Lord Ramsay, Talia doesn't need to see this. Look at him, Talia. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsay. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. Uh, mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. Uh, That's a lot of blood. You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> woof, woof. You want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Hold up. Hold up. Fucking guy bashed on my door like six times and then ran away. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. <sighs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. 
Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. Hey, rude. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. What? Got, got some. Just gotta got him. Gotta got him. Gotta got him. Gotta got him good. Gotta get him good. I do it. Game of Thrones. Put his intestines back in. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. You train like Goku and stop being a cripple. Innocent blood shed on forester lands. What would father think? Arthur. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? This is my fault. If I hadn't agreed to Elena's plan... This is Ramsay Snow's doing, no one else's. You start thinking otherwise, you'll go mad. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur! Ripping oh, no. pepperonis. <laughs> it's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't.
can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. You made me cry. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous that father called him Quiver. And now to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Lena. I'm sorry. Get you someplace, Wal. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. Neither will my brother. My brother's dead too. You've been such and a he friend was 11. to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Wait, what? Oh, I'm on the girl now? Yep, I'm Mira. Let's go, Mira. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira, and you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. You're dying. I better go before she sees me. She will. You're a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Asher, already. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. 
But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> what does it matter? We completed the mission, as promised. Surely that's what's important. Obeying your queen is what's important. I thought you told me your nephew was a man of honor. But he cannot even take responsibility for his actions. Your Grace. You killed the master, Dezor Zoraza, when I told you his judgment belonged to the slaves of Marine. And now you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dezor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. I tell the truth. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. That she wants and him. they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. True. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. 
But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep there, your Robert. fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. They're just words, Beskid. They can't make you bleed. It was my secret to share. You don't know shit. I know you're the toughest person I've ever fought alongside. Your past can't hurt you anymore. Move on. We still have soldiers to find. <sighs> Little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. There's a lot of drama, okay? Don't right now, there's a lot cold. of drama. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Oh, Gerald. A lot of transitioning happening in this episode. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. Getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built, and from there we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, Mr. Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadded a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. You want to go back, Finn? Well, go ahead. No one's stopping you. You know I can't do that. Finn, will you come? Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrett. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting more than onions to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. He's a bitch. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. 
Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Oh. That's annoying. Uh. Talk to fuckface over here. Hey, fuckface. Talk to you. Talk to What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. We've got next to nothing to eat. Caught us a bloody liar. And now we've got his freak sister to worry about. Well, things could be worse. How? You know what? I'd rather warm my ass next to a fucking wildling than talk to you any longer. That's one way to warm him up. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. It's my turn. Oh, really? You even know how to use that thing? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So your shit then. Not bad for a crow. Got him. I got the bunny. You'll do nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. We did all right. Cooked up with some of those onions you've got. We might even enjoy it. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Yep. Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I don't really want to talk about it. Fine. I'll talk. Cotter and I, we've lost everything. Good and we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They okay. heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, Ooh. that it's safe even in the dark of winter. 
So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Garrett! Is Abby? Like the place. I don't know this. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! Company. That's how you impress one of the guys that want to kill you. You headbutt him. What you do? Fucking street smarts. Just in the head. Got it. I got, I got it. Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting. So they built their own private pits. Where things could get really nasty. cock in your pants little brother she's likely to chop it off well hello there not many people get past the beast you must need something very badly so out with it before I decide not to let you leave I've come with an offer I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. 
I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. <laughs> Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust Let's go. Me. He's gone. Let's go. All of Let's go. Get you them want height. To pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Right. I'll beat him. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. Hey, listen, fucking you over to chin fuck shit. Then fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! Uh, uh, die uh, uh, yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This Westerosi, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go! That's no weapon worthy of... 
Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, fuck. Are you ready? Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. <laughs> You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. I offer you all a new life. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me. And there are no rules! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Let's go. Let's go. All oh, right, I have to deal with this bitch. I knew them! What are those things? Oh, over here! Over here! They sound like the zombies from the last one. Anything could be killed!
fuck is this thing? Fire stick. Oh, fuck. I killed her. No, no. Fuck I hope you're things. right about this, Garrett. Going back to Mira. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you, yet... Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tolan's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. Russell. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly. With my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. 
Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. Uh, I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. And she's fucking evil. I like using her. It's also very slow motion walking. I must... You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here, leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry, but you're my family, no matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. Let's go. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Ooh. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. 
I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I'm the one using her. <laughs> if that's what you think, then you're more foolish than I thought. She's taking care of a problem for me. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. She'll have my head. She'd rather have mine. So make something up. Tell her what she wants to hear. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Start doing squats. Get your bikes working. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. That nipple. That nipple. POS. POS. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I I didn't realize you two were... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. 
I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. It's your duty to tell me, and mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. Traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Dun, 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 dun. Who is the fucking traitor? The fucking traitor that I'm going to have to kill. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Go get the guards. Who is it? Who is it? Where is it? Oh. oh, my lord! Knew it. You scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. What do you want me to say? What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. You told them everything, Duncan. Our plans, our strategies. I only told them enough to keep us from war. But why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house... Is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. 
<laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> As I said. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. It was the right thing. You fucked up, Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. I don't need my fucking cane. Iron wood burns blue. Iron. You smell that? We're almost there. Let's get. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up. Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. I'm just another sword. No different than any of you. Roderick is the rightful lord. Trust me, everyone will love him. They'll want to fight for him. Hey, if he's anything like you, well, we'll see. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly. And small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asha, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. I killed any white hills. <laughs>
I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Basker. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Stay by my brother's side. He's your family now. I will, little brother. Rip their fucking hearts out! Die! All of you die! Rest in peace, Asher. Rest in peace. <sighs> 